What is going on everybody? Today we are taking a look at the Rally Armor mud flaps for the Tesla Model Y. Now Rally Armor makes mud flaps for the Model Y and the Model 3, so you can pick those up on their website if you want. A big thank you to Rally Armor for sending these out. They sent them out to me, uh, but they are not seeing this video before you. They have no input on what I'm doing with this video or my opinion. So just so you know, I'm giving my honest review of these, but Rally Armor did send them out. So on my Model 3, I had some mud flaps on there or some splash guards, whatever. And they were kind of the generic ones that a lot of people had. And they were okay, and, and I liked them at first, but when you put them on, they kind of scuff the paint. So let me show you here. So this is my Model Y, but on my Model 3, with the other ones that I had before, it would grab on here, and then there was, you know, some lip. The plastic would really grab onto here. And on the Model Y, this is plastic, which is great, but on the Model 3, it was paint. And so on the front especially, you'd have these marks in the paint where it kind of wore away at it over time, and I ended up removing them and painting over that because it had wore away the paint and you could see the metal there. So going forward, I wanted some mud flaps that did not touch the paint at all. Now Tesla also sells some mud flaps for the Model Y. They actually look pretty nice. I really liked the style, but number one, they were sold out. And number two, they still wrapped around the body just a little bit. Number three, the worst part, they were only for the front. <laughs> they didn't have any for the rear wheels. And I thought that might look a little strange to have them just on the front and not the rear. Um, so these Rally Armor ones are very cool. Let's go check them out right now. Okay, so here's the box. I was kind of thinking of doing an unboxing, but I wanted to install one so I didn't look like a bumbling fool <laughs> doing this on camera. Um, so when you open it up, it's packaged pretty nice. You have instructions on here, which are very easy to follow. I was a little confused by one of the steps where they're talking about um, not installing the clip, but kind of putting it on. I'll, I'll show you what it means. I didn't understand it, but after looking at the clips, I did. They give you this cool little Rally Armor badge here. I know some people would like to put that on their car. Um, that's not me, but if you do, that looks nice. And I think uh, they, they come in different colors, so I think this will match the color of the ones you chose. So here's the, the flap. This is for the front tires. Pick up the camera. And um, it's just a flat. You know, it is wobbly, so that's nice. It's just flat. It doesn't wrap around the car at all. It doesn't hug the body. Uh, and then these Rally Armor characters here, you can pick different colors. They have red, blue, I believe. There's a few different colors on the website. This is the gray. And I thought these would look nice with my gray Model Y. And then last, you get this little bag of hardware here, which I already poured out because um, I was you know, installing that one. Um, but again, very simple to install. So I'll show you the install process. Another really nice aspect of these is they are made in America, which is awesome. Sourced, made here, everything. All right, so we're coming up to the front fender on this one. I already did the other side, uh, but let's do this side now. This is the driver's side, and I'm in the garage, so I'm not gonna have a ton of room. Um, but number one, unfortunately, you gotta make sure your car is clean. <laughs> uh, at least this area we're working in, you want it to be clean. If you look down here, these little clips, we'll have to take these out. On my Model 3 when I did this, they were a lot older, and so I found a lot of them broke. For the Model Y, at least, on the other side, when I took them off, it was very easy, they popped right off. Okay, so there is a tool specifically to do this, but I just use a flat head. So getting that dirt off of there, uh, I put it right here and then just twist and boom, it just comes right out. I mean, it's really as simple as that. On my Model 3 when I did that, it just broke when I did it. So there's one and then make sure you save these um, just in case you might want to, you know, revert this. They don't give you extras, so you won't have any to put back. Um, and then here's the second one. Twist, boom, and it comes right out. This piece is still totally usable. I could push that back in there, and then if I push right here, see how it clicked? That would then be tight in there again. Okay, so next up you have these little white clips here, and these go, you have to fold them. So if I fold it like that, boom, and then this goes into where you uh, took the thing out before. So I'm just gonna put it right in there. Boom, simple as that. Take the next one. Fold that, and I didn't mention it, but of course you can turn your, your wheel, um, go in the car, turn the steering wheel towards the side you're working on, and then of course that moves the tire out of the way for you. So simple as that with these little white pieces, boom. Uh, so those are in, and then you take your mud flap and you have the logo facing the rear of the car. And the way I found easiest to do this is you have to put you know, a screw with a washer in here. And I found I could just kind of line this up and you're not gonna tighten it yet so it, you don't have to you know, do this too correctly. And I just jam the screw in there. I just push kind of hard and give it a little twist just with my fingers and then that should hold it in, that's it. So there, now 
it's being held in there just by that one screw. And then we're going to put the second screw in there. So push hard, give it a little twist, just to get it started. And there we go. So those are there. And then this is going to continue to be adjusted. So again, no need to get it perfect or anything yet. And then I have this uh, like electric screwdriver thing. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'll link it below. I use it for everything, but I turn the torque way down on it because you don't want to over tighten these. Um, and again, and again, I'm, I'll tell you one more time, we're not tightening these all the way. So we're just going to tighten them a little bit just so they don't fall out. Actually, this worked better. I did the other side without turning the tire and it worked better with my little extension. So you might not want to turn the tire. Okay. I unturned the tire and that actually gives me more room for my screwdriver here, so. There, so those are not tight, so I can, you can see I can wiggle this. I can go back and forth, and then I can go up and down here, which is important in a minute. Okay, now this is the only part that confused me just a tiny bit. So you have these clips, hopefully it'll focus on that. You have these clips you're gonna put on, and they say to like put it on here, but don't install it. And what they mean is you can see these little teeth in the middle here. Once you pushed past that, now I did take it off the other mud flap just to test. It's hard to take it off because these little teeth will prevent you from going this way. So you're going to push it onto the mud flap. These teeth will get onto the mud flap and then you can't really pull back because they're going to grip in. If you need to, you can. I did it on the other side um, and it worked. It actually wasn't that hard. But yeah, once those teeth are on, it's not going to want to come off. So they give you a bunch of stuff to measure and, you know, put 135 millimeters and, and whatever. You put one near the top, one in the middle, and one near the, the curve here. That's all I did, so let's see. Um, so I start with the top, and this is where they want you to do the top and not actually fully clip it on. Um, they just want it to grab onto the fender there. So, so the clip is on there, but the teeth are not past the plastic or the fender or anything. Like, they're not past the mud flap. Um, so I could just easily pull that right off and then they want you to basically get it all lined up um, The bottom should be kind of level with the ground make sure the ground is level <laughs> um, And then you can start tightening them and then at the end you'll tighten the screws So this one's a little high actually, so I put my top one about there. Let me get the other ones installed and show you Okay, so here they are. There's my top one my middle one and then my bottom one. So you can see the top and the bottom are not fully installed. Did that on purpose to show you the difference. Uh, and the middle one now, those teeth are kind of gripped on there. If, you know, if I really needed to, uh, you can kind of yank on this and, and, and get it out of there, but you just want to avoid that. So you, you install them all like this, all three. And then when it looks pretty good and it's all lined up, then you solidify them on, on there. So this looks actually really good. Pretty, pretty good with the ground. And then I'm just going to shove that on there. And of course you want to make sure it's on the clip here and grabbing onto the, you know, the fen the, I don't know, this fender, whatever you call this piece of plastic behind there. And then I'm going to push that on. Boom. So now all those clips are installed. So now I'm going to tighten these screws. You don't want to tighten them too much. I just tighten them until I can start to tell that they're, you know, pulling in there. Boom. So just like that starts moving in. That looks pretty good. So now it's not moving at all. How uh, before I was moving it up and down and back and forth. Now it won't move at all. And blam, that's what we got. <laughs> so nice. Also, these garage lights. Oh yeah, there you go, it's adjusting. That's how I can record these videos at night. I'll link those too, because these lights, oh my gosh, they're like one of the best things I've ever bought, especially if you're making videos at night in the garage. Okay, anyway. So here's the view from passenger side. This is the one I did earlier. I think it looks really, really good. Love the look. Um, they do have the logo down there. I know a lot of people are sensitive to logos. I, I actually kind of like it. Um, I don't mind too much. I do like kind of stealth stuff that doesn't have any logo. I don't think they had an option for that. Um, but this one was the one that blended in the most. Um, and it looks fine. Um, so there's, go from the front. So yeah, they look, they look awesome. I'm really excited for these. And then they're also kind of floppy. So you know, they can, oops, oh man, don't look, don't make fun of me for that. <laughs> I just threw them on to get out here and do this. Um, so yeah, they're kind of floppy there. So they shouldn't break or anything if you, you know, if you hit them on, on curbs or whatever. All right. And then putting the rears on is like the exact same. So 
and you look in here, you have those two same bolts you gotta take. I did wash the car, I, I swear. Uh, <laughs> you have those two clips you gotta take out exactly the same. And then this is just shaped slightly differently. I'm not exactly sure why that is. I don't see anything in there to warrant that. Um, but maybe it's like a mold taken from something else. But anyway, um, and then you, you do the same thing, like the exact same procedure. They do have slightly different measurements for where those clips go when you, you know, those metal pieces that go up here. Oh, and speaking of those metal clips, they do have a front and a back. So if you look at this, this is the front. I don't know if you can see, it says rally armor on there. So you want that facing out. So you want to be able to see that when you're installing this clip. The back doesn't have that. So that is super important because um, <laughs> that's actually why I took it off. I was saying earlier I took one off because I had it on backwards. I didn't realize, but you can feel it and you can see it. So just so you know. But anyway, from mounting, you know, the clips onto here on the back on this part, um, they do have slightly different measurements, but like I showed you, I didn't measure it. I just put one near the top, near the middle, and, and near the kind of curve on the bottom, and I think that's going to work well. All right, so yeah, installing on the back is exactly the same uh, procedure as installing on the front. It's a little more uh, curved, as you can maybe tell from back here. Um, but it fits, I mean, it fits on there perfectly. They give you the exact amount of hardware you need, so <laughs> make sure you don't lose anything. And there is another clip uh, back there that you do not remove. There's a third one. You don't remove that, just so you know. Um, but there's my three clips here. Oh, this one's maybe not fully on. And then um, I screwed those in without my little extension-y thing here. Without this little extension, I have no idea how I would, <laughs> I mean, I would have had a, a really small screwdriver to get in there. So... Uh, we will check these out tomorrow. I'll get some pictures. I'll get some video. Um, and I'll try to test them like in a puddle or something and make sure they actually, you know, protect against splashes and mud and stuff like that. But overall, let's, let's get the initial, initial shot here in the garage. Yeah, they're looking sweet. I like them a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. So this looks good from behind. But what I was just thinking is I did want to say, I don't know what is going on in there. I don't know why um, they did that or what that's for. But... Um, it looks a little strange from this angle, but from the back, um, it doesn't do anything at all. I mean, that looks really cool. <laughs> I actually really like it. It looks great. Um, so, yeah, here's the whole car. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. It's like 90 degrees in this garage. Um, but yeah, that's looking, looking really nice. All right, we'll check more out later. All right, so it's been a few weeks since I've installed these mud flaps. I've been using them, of course, the whole time driven uh, hundreds of miles with them now, and I'm really enjoying them. I got a video I'm showing you now of using them going through a puddle. Uh, I did notice they touched the ground on the dirt road for just a second there, but they're pretty soft. They're pretty flexible, so I don't think that will be a problem at all, whereas some of the other ones are hard. And you'll notice uh, from the video and just from looking at this right here, the mud, when you go through a puddle, uh, goes behind the mud flap, and you can see it's, it's dripping down there. And that's actually a really good thing because in the other mud flaps, like the ones I had with my Model 3, this this right here was like a cup and it was holding a bunch of stuff in there. So this is way better that it uh, falls down here like this. I actually have some I can compare for you. So here is the front right of that other style like I had on my Model 3. I don't want to tell you which company exactly these are from, but there's a lot of different companies that make this style. I don't want to put them on blast, but you can see this kind of cup action here. And, you know, if you, if I was to put this on, you know, if I was to like slide that in there, it holds a bunch of stuff in here. And so it's just not the best design. And then luckily this part now, like I talked about before, is plastic, uh, but this may still touch your paint. Looks like it probably would touch this paint right here. So that's no good. You really uh, don't want that style. I am enjoying the flat style a lot more. I like the look better actually than this kind of wraparound look, but of course that's subjective. Um, so yeah, I would not be using this style anymore. Uh, I really like the flat style a lot better. So overall, these have been great for me. I'm really excited to have them. I do still hear some pebbles that kick up and, and hit the car, but it seems like less than before. You know, it's kind of hard to know for sure, but there's definitely still some pebble, pebble action hitting the car. Um, and, you know, being on dirt roads, of course, my car's still going to get muddy. I do still have, you know, the mud that hits this part here. It's just kind of because of the way the car is designed. But I have, you can see the PPF on here that was installed from Tesla. So definitely do that to protect that area. You can see it gets beat up a lot more. And I just, man, this, this plastic trim at the bottom, I know it's, you know, a crossover style thing. But I just really think they should do it for the Model 3 because then you don't have to worry about, you know, the paint loss that some people get there that I also got myself. Um, it's just, it's kind of a relief to know that that's not going to be a worry. 
And then you could just also just wait for the cyber truck and then no paint. That's that's awesome. So yep, really, really liking these, recommended by me for sure. I am, I am happy with them. I think they're a great product. So if you have any questions about those, about these mud flaps, uh, let me know down in the comments. I would love to talk to you about that. I hope you enjoyed this one and you will see me in the next video.